What's up, everyone? Welcome back to 30 to Life. Today's guest is Visna. Welcome to 30 to Life, Visna. What's up, Ron? What's up, man? What's up, man? We, we're, we're old time friends. We did a little bit of time in Corcoran together. So I'm happy to have you on, on, on my channel. Um, you got an interesting story that I think that a lot of people, you know, could benefit from hearing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why don't you start off a little telling us about where you're from, where you grew up? I actually resigned in Sacramento, but you know what I mean? I used to live in Long Beach to Modesto and then resigned in Sac, you know? So that's where I'm at now. How long were you in Sacramento? Like growing up there? Since I was like maybe eight, eight, eight years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty up there. Probably 20 plus yeah. years. Man. Yeah. Damn. So in Sacramento, growing up there, did you grow up in, you know, like an all Cambodian uh, community or did you just grow up in, you know, around everybody? Well, first of all, when I first came to Sac, Sac we used to live in apartments right here off of Swan Road. There was like a lot of Cambodians in there. Mm -hmm. And from there, everybody branched off and then we started living to a different neighborhood out here in Sac. Right. So let me ask you, man, growing up in Sacramento, man, uh, you know, your childhood, were you around a lot of gangs? Did you get involved with gangs or anything like that? Oh, that that's all it was in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We were a bunch of, uh, a lot of black homies that I was living around. So that's where we, that's where I was raised up in, in the flats out here in Sac. Okay. Okay. What, what, what hood are you from out there? From Flat Dog Crib. Okay. Okay. Is that an Asian gang or is that a black gang? Uh, it's, a black gang. it's a black gang. Okay. But we got okay. a lot of homies too, though. You know, we got some Asian homies. It's like a neighborhood and everyone from the flats and stuff. Right. Yeah. So being involved with gangs in Sacramento at a young age and things like that, did you get in a lot of trouble? Did you see any juvenile hall time, YA time or anything like that? That's all I did see was juvenile hall and Boys Ranch. Oh, okay. Boys Ranch is over off of Jackson Road in Sac. It's like a little camp. Oh. Like they, they send you off for like three, four months. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's six months. It's all about juvenile, though. Right, right. What, what kind of trouble were you getting into? I mean, I know you was running with gangs, but what kind of trouble were you getting? Was it violent crimes or just petty crimes? or? It was just breaking and entering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting your money. Yeah, you know how we yeah. got to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back in the days, yeah. when we were young, you know what I mean? That's all we thought about. We didn't know better. Yeah, yeah. And so when we got older, then we was like, man, we dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. Let me ask you this, and I always ask everyone, you know, why do you think you got involved with gangs? You know, what, what, what led you to it? Was it just alcohol, drugs, peer pressure, or just, you know, things like that? You know, like most of us Cambodians, you know, when we come from, like, like you said, the refugee days and stuff, right? So when we was raised, we raised as like low, you know what I mean, low income. So for us, when we live in a neighborhood, the only way we can do is try to get money is how will we see around, you know what I mean? So it was like, oh man, I want to get a car this age. And then you got to do what you got to do to go get your car, you know what I mean? So it's like, basically it's the struggle that it turned us to what we need to go do, what we got to do to get our, our income and make sure that our family's straight. Mm -hmm.